Morning ladies and gents, I hope you're okay and I hope you're having a fantastic start to your weekend um, I'm just coming on to share the project with you Now it's going to be in two parts <laughs> So I must just warn you I'm using this paper stack from Stampin' Up Anybody that knows me knows I can't stand green Hate green with a passion um, but I love the monochrome, I love the black and white and I love snowflakes and all what have you I just think it's very classy looking, very classy so that's the paper stack I'm using I can't remember the name of it because I've used the chipboard that was on the back <laughs> um, for the mini album so I can't remember the name of it, but it is in the occasions catalogue, it's not in the main catalogue. One side's all monochrome, the other side is, I'm um, thinking it's old olive. Um, but I got it, got it mainly for the monochrome side, because as I say, I can't stand green. I don't even wear green clothes. I have no jewellery with emeralds in or... Well, I've yet, I just cannot stand green of any colour or just of any nature or description. Right, so we are going to make a box, right? And this box is going to house this candle. Okay, and you can all see where I bought the candles from. Right? <laughs> can you see the name at the top? And that's how much they are. Now, I know... That over the years I have bought these candles loads of times and I have given them as gifts once I've decorated them. And I know these candles only burn down the centre. They do not burn around the outside. Okay, and I know that for a fact. I have tried it. I've had them burning the centred ones in my house and I know they only burn down the middle. Okay, so this box that we're going to make, just let me move that out the road, is going to house this candle. And this box is 4 by 4 inches. Okay, so you're going to need two sheets of A4 cardstock. Okay, and you're going to score them at 4 inches and 8 inches. Okay. And on the top one, where you see all these squiggles, is where you're going to cut away. So you're going to cut all this side away and just notch in slightly. And you're going to cut this full panel away and the top bit and just notch in slightly there. Okay, so you're going to score at 4 inches, 8 inches. Rotate it, 4 inches, 8 inches. And as I say, that's what you're going to cut away, where I've done them squiggles. Your cardstock is going to be 8 and a quarter by 8 and a quarter. So you'll have a quarter of an inch left there, and you'll have a quarter of an inch left there. Okay, and again, like I say, you're going to score it at 4 inches and 8 inches. So that's the lid of our box and that's two sides of our box. Okay, and this side panel, you're going to only take it away from the four inch line, right the way up. Okay, do not take away this, this bottom piece because it won't work. <laughs> so that's the top part of your box and I'll just hold it there just, just for you to see for a minute. <laughs> You might want to take a screenshot. <laughs> okay, so that's the top part of your box, the lid. And then the bottom part, you're going to do exactly the same. It's eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter, so you're going to score it four inches, eight inches, rotate it, score it. Rotate it that way. 
let's go to 4 inches and 8 inches right but on the bottom piece this panel that you're going to cut away leave an extra quarter of an inch okay because this is going to be the base of your box and you're going to be putting tape around them three sides so leave I know we've scored up to the four inch line but leave a quarter of an inch before that four inch line and I'll just hold it down again so you can see and as I say this is going to come the bottom the base of your box okay so I'll just hold it there so you can take a screenshot <laughs> But I am going to cut it with you so you'll see the shape. Okay, so you're going to take your big scissors, whichever big scissors you use. And as I say, a quarter of an inch before that four. Oops. See, I was already in the middle of making my box and then I thought well, I might as well do a video on it, <laughs> as you do. So there's that corner taken away. Now what you're going to do is you're going to snip, you're going to wedge into this corner. Like that. Okay, take the corner away and the same with this corner. Just wedge in like that. Then you're going to cut a triangle out of there, okay, and then you're going to cut a notch out of there. So there is your bottom piece, that's what you should be looking at now, okay. If you're not looking at that the exact same shape, then you've done something wrong. So you'll have to start again. <laughs> so then our top piece, we're going to notch this in here. If I can keep my hand steady. We're going to notch it at the top. And then we're going to cut it straight the way down. You can do yours on a trimmer. Um, I done mine, my original, on the trimmer and just use my scissors to show you all. Okay, so we've cut away that side but we've left the bottom one on. Now we're going to notch in again. Okay, and then we're going to cut this whole square away. And what gave me the idea for this was our framelit dies. Um, do you remember? Let me just see. I know I've got it here somewhere. Do you remember our framelit dies, these ones, the window box thinlets? That's what gave me the idea for this. Okay, because you're going to do it in much the same way as you would do them. That's our bottom and we're going to connect that onto there. I need to move stuff to let you be able to see properly. <laughs> Just you stay there. Is that any better? I can't push it up anymore because I've got no room. <laughs> so 
so that's how you're going to do it. You put mark the top that way and your bottom facing down the way. So top, up, bottom, down. Okay, so you're going to attach that on that little tab. And then what's going to happen is, just pretend we've attached that. And you're going to fold all your score lines. And then this one's going to attach onto that tab. <laughs> so we have that one attaching onto that tab. And this one here is going to attach onto this one here. Once you've folded and bent, let me just... I hate to think that you you don't understand what I mean. So let me just burnish it and show you. It's only copy paper, so you know it'll fold really easy. But I needed a box that I knew would hold one of them candles once I've decorated it. <laughs> and if you look in how I decorate my candles, um I think I have done one. If you scroll back through my videos, I'm just going to notch, I forgot to notch this one out the bottom. Um, if you scroll back through my videos, there should be one there where I actually um, use my stamps on tissue paper um, and melt it into the candle. And that's what I'm going to be doing with this candle. Um, and it's going out to somebody. So I needed a Pacific box that would hold this candle. <laughs> okay, so there's all my score lines burnished. And as I say, that's your top, that's your bottom. That's going to connect onto there. Okay. Then this one is going to come round on our folded lines and is going to connect onto there. Maybe if I do it the other way. If I turn it round that way. You can see better. Okay, so you have your lid there and this is your bottom. Okay, so that little tab attaches onto the top one, and this tab attach attaches there. Okay, and that gives you your perfect 4x4 box. <laughs> and I hope you understood all that. So, I've already done my box, as I say, I was doing it before, and then I thought, well, why not come on and show you all? <laughs> um, so there's my box. Now the panels you're going to need are cut at 3 and 5 eighths by 3 and 5 eighths. Okay? And that is just 2 eighths short of the 4 <laughs> inch mark. And they're just going to lay it on and they're going to leave you a lovely little border. So I'm going to put these on. And I've not stuck my base down yet so I can fold it flat. Um, to put these on and we don't have to worry about the bottom because nobody's going to see the bottom so we're just going to put our panels on our sides and the candle I am going to do monochrome as well so it'll all tie in because I think I've even got a stamp with these stars on so and we might even add some twinkle to them. <laughs> and I might do that actually. You can always, if you're using center, sending out scented candles, or even if you're doing them for a craft fair and you want a presentation box for them, you could even. Um, I want the stars going that way. <laughs> I'm a bit finicky like that. You'll get used to me. Um, you could even put 
a sniff hole in the top. <laughs> but these are all cut exactly the same. If you have 12 by 12 paper you're flying, you'll easily get these. But I just used two A4 sheets and I wanted to show you how I connected them. Let me see which way my stars are going. <laughs> Flip it over, do this side. I've also got a couple of things out to decorate with. So I hope everybody's okay. I know that other storm is, is supposed to come in today. Um, let's hope it's not as bad as the last one. Ophelia. I tell you, talk about a woman scorned. She was scorned. <laughs> panels all together I know I cut six out but I got three out of each strip so it'll be used for something else my stars are going the right way Now my lid is going to be folding over this way so I want to turn it this way and make sure to get my stars going the right way. <laughs> Desperately need to fill these blue bottles up. Oh come on don't run out on me now. Okay, so there's all our panels, all nicely coloured in, covered up, sorry. Took my base back in because I'm not gluing it down yet. Okay, so there's my box. Now normally you would tuck this lip inside your box. Okay, and I could do that, but I don't want to because I want to hang a little tassel. And I don't know whether you've seen these, but I'm actually, they're so cute that I just have to get some. <laughs> these are the mini ornaments, is that what they're called? Yeah, mini ornament, ornament embellishments. Aren't they just so cute? So I want to hang a tassel and one of these ornaments off the lip of my box. Okay, and I'm also going to be putting some of this ribbon 
round. Come on. And you'll find I often talk to things, even though I know they don't talk back. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put This is wire driven, so in theory it's fantastic for making your bows. So I'm just going to cut mine off using an old pair of scissors that I do use for ribbons and stuff. Get that out the road. As I say, I want to have my lip outside my box. It'd help if I punched the hole in first, wouldn't it? So you're going to find the centre of your lip and you're just going to, I'd say about there, it'll have to be now. <laughs> you're just going to punch a little hole in and I'm going to go round this way with my ribbon. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I'll just leave it as a knot. You get the idea. <laughs> Okay, so as I say, off the front I want to hang a little tassel, put that on first, and you know how to make tassels, that's not a made one, that is a bought one, but the only ones we sell at the minute are the Emerald Envy Purple a emerald envy oh I can't remember the other colours but they're the only ones we have at the minute <laughs> but I just thought this would look nice and you can always hide your knot behind and because of the weight of it um, it will keep that lip down So if you can imagine that, a lovely little bow. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> and there's the front. And as I say, you can always tuck that knot to the inside of the box. Just pull it through the hole so it goes behind the lip. And there you go, there's our 4x4 four four inch box. I've cut this too short so I'll have to cut another piece. <laughs> and I've used one of the mini ornament embellishments and just a little black tassel. Um, yeah, so there you go. And if you want, if you leave me a comment below and you want to see how I decorate this candle, I will be more than happy to oblige. Um, so I hope you give that a go. 
I'll just bring in your templates again what you're looking for move that out the road for a minute there is your bottom template okay and there is your top template so that's what you're looking for okay ladies and gents so I hope you give that a go um, and stay tuned if you want to see the candle done to decorate it to go inside my box thank you very much for stopping by hello and welcome to all my new subscribers and take care and I'll speak to you all soon bye